In the 6.7 release, the new vSphere client based on HTML5 becomes a primary user interface for all of your storage configurations. In the meantime, you can still continue to use the familiar vSphere web client for old and many new storage functionalities. Most of the elements of the HTML5 based storage UI closely match the same elements of the vSphere web client. However, there are a few exceptions. Several new storage features that the 6.7 release introduces have been implemented only on the HTML5-based vSphere client. You cannot access them if you use the vSphere web client. Other features are completely redesigned in the new client and provide different terminology and workflows. Finally, a few legacy features do not appear in the new HTML5-based client. In this video, we will cover several of such cases. Only in the HTML5-based vSphere client, you can now upload and download file folders or multiple files through the data store browser. For example, you can download an entire VM folder as a zip file to your local system. To do this, navigate to the data store file browser, select the folder, and click Download. You can also select several files and download them as a zip. Another storage feature introduced in vSphere 6.7 is the new method of configuring VMFS space reclamation. It's called the fixed rate method and it allows you to specify the rate in megabytes per second for the storage space reclamation process. It is configurable only through the HTML5 based client. To set this parameter, right click the data store and click edit space reclamation in the menu. Select Enable Automatic Space Reclamation at Fixed Rate and select the rate from the drop-down menu. In the HTML5 vSphere client, you can now access the Storage Overview page to review host clusters and their storage components. To open the page, navigate to your cluster, click the Monitor tab, and click Storage Overview. You can now review your cluster storage topology and list adapters, targets, and other storage information for your hosts. You can also check whether any device is detached. In the 6.7 release, the HTML5-based vSphere client presents a completely redesigned VM storage policies interface. The interface includes some new terminology and elements and entirely new workflows for creating and editing VM storage policies. These changes require a more detailed discussion, so we'll cover them in a separate video. Among existing storage functionalities that haven't been implemented in the HTML5 based client is virtual flash management. Although it's not yet available in the new client, you can still use the vSphere web client to configure and manage the virtual flash resource. This concludes our video. For more details, see the vSphere storage documentation on docs.vmware.com.